guys, so today is my very first panning video. So I've never really been part of the panning community per se, but I've always kind of followed um, as a little outlier, just kind of fascinated by what people were going through and how they were doing these different panning projects and things like that. But I never really felt this huge desire to pan a ton of my makeup. I don't know what really shifted at the beginning of this year. I've watched a bunch of different videos from, uh, I think it was Samantha March and from Kaylee Bout and a few others that I really have enjoyed watching lately. And they've all been doing this Pan 18 in 2018 uh, project. And I thought to myself, you know what? I kind of think I want to do this. So I went through my makeup and I've pulled 18 products that I want to pan and I'm going to share with you guys today what I've selected and kind of what my goals are. Before we get into the products I have picked, I did want to sh kind of share with you my thought process for the products I was going to pick and why I chose certain things over others. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to make sure that anything I picked, I was absolutely going to love. If this is a, pro a product rather that I'm gonna continually use all year long, I really wanted to make sure that it was something I enjoyed using. And I know that seems kind of, um, it might seem kind of obvious, but I've also seen people in the panning community who are trying to use up things that they really don't enjoy just to get them out of their collection. I personally have a slightly different take. I would rather donate things that don't work to me uh, to different charity organizations versus keeping them in my collection and just being unhappy every time I touch them. So my first criteria was that I needed to really enjoy using the product. And then my second criteria was that I wanted to make sure I wasn't just giving myself an easy out. I am going to go through lots of mascaras, that's a given. I'm going to go through different bottles of sunscreen, etc. There are products that I go through consistently every single year, so there really wouldn't be a whole lot of challenge for me to use up those kinds of products and put them as part of my pan. So I elected to really pick products that would be a little bit of a challenge for me, I thought, to potentially use up. I also went through my makeup collection and thought about products that were a little bit older that I might wanna use up because the expiration date is coming up or maybe I've already pushed the expiration date past, uh, but it still seems like it is working and hasn't gone bad. So I really went through and thought, okay, what are some of my older makeup products that I wanna try and use up before they go bad? And then the other filter I used was if I have a backup of something, let's pull it into this collection. There are certain products that I have bought backups of simply because I got them at an incredible sale and it was a product that I knew I loved. So anything that was sitting in my backup pile, I tried to think about pulling that in to my project pan. And then finally, I kind of wanted to pick some things that I didn't know if I could use up. I think I have some things here that I will make good progress on and I will probably pan in 2018, but I also wanted to challenge myself. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to use up some of this stuff, and personally, I'm kind of curious. So that was kind of my criteria for thinking about my pan 18 in 2018. My goal for my powder products is to actually pan them. So I've selected some face products and powder products. Uh, I think they take a little bit longer to use up. So my goal is to actually hit pan on these products. For any of my liquids or other products, I would actually like to see if I can use them up. I don't know how realistic that is going to be, but that's kind of my pr thought process going into this. The first product that I would like to try and use up completely this year is my IT Cosmetics Number no. 50 Serum. Now, I am about halfway through this one, and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem getting through it. I love this primer. It is the Number no. 50 Serum Anti-Aging Collagen Veil Primer. Tons of great skincare benefits to it. Love how it extends the life of my makeup. Just can't say enough great things about this. But I also know that in a few days, Ulta is going to actually put this on sale as part of their skincare event. So I fully intend to purchase a backup of this because this is kind of a pricey primer and they're gonna be running it 50% off. So I selected this knowing that I could probably get through it, but then also because I knew I was going to have a backup of this and to be honest, I don't wanna really be without this in my collection. So that is my first product. I also picked three kind of foundation products. The first one is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. 
I really don't have a ton of this left. Um, as you can see here, it's really down to the final inch. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem using this up. I have the shade Y225, uh, number 117. I remember uh, a few weeks ago, I was looking up uh, information on this because I put this in my Best of Beauty uh, 2017 video. And I realized that there were several shades that would probably work better for me than this. This was close. It's just maybe a little too yellow for me. So for me, I think I'm going to, uh, I would like to use this up and then repurchase the color that actually works for my skin tone. Another foundation that I would like to use up is my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I love this. I'm probably, mm, I would say two thirds of the way through this bottle, uh, but this is one of my older high-end foundations. Now it still applies well. It doesn't have a funny scent. I know this said uh, it has a fairly short expiration date, but at this point I don't really feel like because this bottle is completely sealed with a pump, there's not air getting into it. So I feel like it's still really working. So I'd like to challenge myself to use this guy up. My last foundation is my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I am in the shade Fair. I have a backup of this because I purchased a little QVC kit and it came with my shade of this CC cream. So I would like to use this up so that I could move into my backup. Some products are gonna be really easy for me to see what how much I have left and others, not so much. But if I really kind of smush this down, I, I would say I've probably only got uh, just this little window showing. So I think it's totally conceivable that I can use up all three of these, especially because I know I love all three of them. A pressed powder that I'd like to see if I can hit pan on is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. This is a beautiful powder. I love it for setting my whole face and actually it works pretty well for setting my under eyes on. I've made a pretty good divot in this. In fact, I can actually kind of see the rings of the pan down below. So I'm kind of confident I'll be able to hit pan on this. In fact, I'm actually curious to see if I might be able to use this whole thing up. A bronzer I would like to try and uh, hit pan on is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer. I've traveled with it a ton. I've made a pretty good divot in it. In fact, you can't see most of the swirls that were on there originally but I just, I can't tell how close I am to hitting pan. I feel like I've got some work to do in order to actually make this hit pan, uh, but I'd like to see if I can do that with a bronzer that I know I really love. A second bronzer that I'm going to pull in is my e.l.f. This is from their Aqua line. This is actually a blush and a bronzer. I don't think I'm gonna hit pan on the blush. We will see, I will certainly try, but I know I love this bronzer and I will wear it a lot, especially when I am, uh, in warmer climates or when it gets to the summertime. So I'd like to see if I can hit pan on the bronzer, potentially use it up, and then we'll see what happens with the blush. I do like the blush as well, um, but I don't always find myself reaching for a pink blush, so we'll see. I did select two highlighters, which may be my downfall, but bear with me. So the first one I picked up was this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter. This is in Who's That Pearl? I think they just do one shade of this. I really like this cushion uh, highlighter. It's one of those products that on a natural makeup day uh, is just beautiful on the skin to give kind of a lit from within glow, but I also think it layers really well. So if you want a really glowy highlight, I do like to put this on my skin before I set my face and then I'll add a little powder highlight over the top. So I feel like it's a versatile one. This also only has 0.27 ounces or seven grams of product in here. So I feel like I stand a pretty good chance of getting through this. So I'd like to see if it's possible. The other highlight I've picked, which is probably, when I look at all the things in front of me, this is probably my most ambitious product. This is my Cover FX highlighter in Moonlight. And this is pretty new to my collection. So it, although I can see kind of marks in it uh, from where I've rubbed my brush in it, I am nowhere near even making a big divot in this. So if I look at all the things in front of me and I think to myself, what am I most concerned about being able to hit pan on? It's probably this highlighter, especially because you don't use a ton of highlighter. You know, when you're talking about a setting powder, you're using this all over your face to set your makeup and then potentially for a touch up later in the day. 
I don't know, I may have bitten off more than I can chew with this highlighter, but I'm curious to see uh, what I can do with it. A blush that I'd like to see if I can hit pan on, and I think I can, is actually from e.l.f. This is my Mellow Mauve blush, and I've made a pretty good divot in this already, to be honest. Um, I really love this shade. It's very neutral, but slightly pinky. It's really flattering on my skin tone. I like, I feel like this is one of those blushes that goes with absolutely every eye look that I've ever put together. So I feel like I've already made kind of a divot into this corner. I don't know why this corner more than the middle of the pan, but bear with me. We'll see what happens with this one. So this is the only blush I've picked. So this is me hoping that I can make some serious progress when I really, really love a blush. A face product that I actually forgot to mention is a concealer. So I actually pulled in the Milani Touch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. There are concealers that I go through on a consistent basis. I've repurchased Shape Tape. I have repurchased, I don't even know how many tubes of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So I didn't want to pull one of those in because I probably will use those up just through the normal course of the year if history tells me anything. And I thought to myself, you know what, let's pull a concealer in that you like and you enjoy, but that maybe isn't your absolute favorite number one go-to. So Milani Touch and Erased, I am in the shade 01 Fair, is going to be part of the pan. And a brow product that I have picked is the It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. So, I pulled this in because A, I really do like it. I like the fact that it has a spoolie on it. I love this universal shade here down at the end. I think it's a really flattering color for my brows, but I now have two backups of this. So this was also part of that QVC set of It Cosmetics products that I got and I had a backup. So I felt, I was like, oh, okay, I have one backup of this. And then lo and behold, this is also in BoxyCharm. So, I would like to see if I could get through this one, and to be honest, if I do get through this, because I think I can uh, pretty easily, I may actually challenge myself to see if I can get through a second one of them. Now, I didn't pick any eyeshadow palettes um, or a ton of eye products, because if I have to pick one thing that I am always wanting to play around with, always wanting to change up, it's eye products. But I did want to pull one eye product in, and so I ended up pulling my ColourPop shade in Waddles. This is part of their permanent collection, so I know I can repurchase it. It's a satin shade, so I feel like it goes over the top of my eyes really well, and it's just a beautiful color blended out for just a single shade look. But because it's not super glowy, I've also used this a ton as a crease shade. So I feel like I could use this quite a lot and be quite happy with it. I have, I think I've probably used up, I don't know, maybe about half of this maybe a little less than half, but I feel like I can probably get through this if I really concentrate on it, especially for days where I just don't really feel like doing some crazy eye look like I did today. Went a little ham on lip products, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This is one of those areas where I'm like, I don't know, can I actually use this up? The first one I picked is actually a liner, and this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Lip Cheek and Pillow Talk. I love this color. I will use it to just line my lips. I will use it underneath to kind of extend the life of different lip colors. It's beautiful, but I have a backup of this as well. So I would say I've probably used maybe, I don't know, 25% of this pencil. A couple lip products I'm less certain on, but we'll see, uh, is my Marc Jacobs Gloss in French Tickler. It's hard for me to tell how much is in here. I feel like I've used this a ton, but if you were just to look at it, outside of the fact that the packaging's kind of dirty and schmucky, uh, I can't tell how much is in here. So we're gonna try and use this up. It's a gloss that I really, really enjoy. I think it's beautiful over my lip cheek. So I feel like this is a combo that I can use quite a bit. It's also really pretty um, over a ton of different lip colors. So. I feel like if there's a gloss that I'm going to have a chance of using up, it's probably this one. Then I picked one lipstick, and it's not even a lipstick that I've gone completely ham on yet. I picked a MAC lipstick in Blankety. It's a shade I really, really love. But as you can see, I, uh, yeah, I have a lot left. <laughs> so 
so I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could use up an entire lipstick. This is a shade that I know is going to work for me all year round. It's going to work with a myriad of different eye looks. It's a nude, so I know it's going to pair really well with lots of different makeup looks. If there were two products that I was going to say I'm the most nervous about, it's this Cover FX highlighter and then this MAC lipstick. I'm just not sure uh, how feasible it is for me to completely use these up, pan this one and use this one up, but hey, that's what this project is for, right? All right, my last and final lip product, and I'm gonna have a hard time gauging if I'm actually getting through this or not until it's just gone, is my Catrice Lip Cushion. I pulled in the shade Make a Better Mauve. This shade is actually not super mauve -y. It's actually got a really nice sort of neutral tone to it. Um, I love this product on its own. It's probably one of my favorite um, just throw on your lips everyday lip colors when I just don't want to think about what's on my lips and I want something that's going to be really flattering with a zillion different eye looks. This is what I reach for there and I'm kind of hopeful there's going to be a moment where I go to crank it on the bottom and nothing else comes out. So that's it. Those are the 18 products that I have selected for 2018 to pan. I am kind of excited about this. I actually got myself a little set of acrylic drawers to set on top of my vanity. So these are definitely front and center, top of mind. And then my intention is also that I travel with these. So when I'm picking out makeup for work trips and vacations and things like that, my hope is that I dive to these first because there's nothing like traveling with makeup to really force you to use what you've got. At this point, my intention is to kind of do quarterly updates. I took really, hopefully, good photos of all of these products as best as I can so that I can gauge in a few months where I am. So my intention is to come back on here, let you guys know how this pan is going uh, each quarter, and then we'll do a recap at the end of the year and see how successful I've been. If you guys are doing anything like this on a channel or a blog, or even just on your own in your own home, let me know down below. I'm curious if you guys are doing any panning in 2018, and if so, what products you've picked. I'm also curious if you've done this in the past, how these have worked out for you. And if you have any advice that would be amazing, I'd also be curious of whether or not you think I have bitten off more than I can chew with some of these products. But that is all for today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.